Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about the exponential smoothing concept. It is very important concept because it has been asked in the very recent examination June 25. It is one of the business forecasting technique. Okay, now we are going to see the illustration 10. From that we can able to understand this concept. Okay, Mrs. B P uh, Leather. A shoe manufacturer has a uh, modern outlook, and they depend heavily on business forecasting methodology to plan their business activities like manufacturing, marketing, finance, etc. At the beginning of the year 2022, they have forecasted the data of demand of their shoes for the beginning of the month March as thousand pairs, but actual demand turned out to be nine hundred pairs. Using smoothing coefficient 0.1, forecast the demand at the beginning of second week of March 22. Okay, in this problem, what they have given us at the beginning of the year 2022, they forecasted dem demand for the month of March as thousand. Okay, their forecast was thousand, but actual demand is nine hundred only. Okay, so that is the hundred. Demand less. Okay, as per the forecast, there is hundred pairs of shoes are less. Okay, the demand turned to be negative. So negative hundred. Okay, actual prediction is thousand, but actual uh, sorry, the uh, forecasting was thousand pairs, but actually what uh, what demand is nine hundred only. So minus hundred. So using a smoothing coefficient zero point one. This is called smoothing coefficient alpha. So by using this smoothing coefficient alpha. We are going to forecast the demand for the next next weeks, like uh, second week of March two thousand twenty-two, like that. Ne for the next next weeks, we are going to um, uh, we are going to calculate the demand. Okay, so uh, how to calculate this? That thing only I am going to explain in the sum. Also forecast the demands using exponential smoothing technique at the beginning of each till mid April two thousand twenty-two. For for till uh, April two thousand twenty-two, we are going to calculate the. Demand. Okay, for demand, we are going to forecast the demand at the beginning of second week of March, thousand ten pairs. At the beginning of third week of March, thousand. This is the actual demand they have given. Actually, what happened? That demand uh, data they have given. So we are going to calculate the uh, forecast. Okay, this is the method. This is the method we have to do the exponential smoothing. Actual demand they will given. Okay, this uh, like that. Uh, this is the Tabulation. This this kind of tabulation we have to do. Actual demand they have given. This is the actual demand in the question. Okay, and also uh, for the first month, for the first month, what is the forecasting? That also given in the question. And exponential smoothing that is zero point one that also given. So by using all these data, we are going to calculate the. Forecast for the next 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 months or oh, sorry next 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 weeks. So whatever it is, if it is week, quarter, month, they will ask for anything. So by using this technique, we are going to calculate the next 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 uh, forecasting, um, and also we are going to calculate the forecast error. From that, we are going to arrive the new forecast. Okay, in this first thing, actual demand for the. First month is nine hundred. They have given and uh, forecasted was thousand. So the difference between these two nine hundred minus thousand that is minus hundred. This is our forecast error. This is called error. So actually we forecasted thousand, but only actual demand was only nine hundred. So this is our error. With that error, we are going to multiply this coefficient zero point one. So from that we are going to get minus ten. This is our correction. This is our correction. This this correction how we have to do it. This is minus ten. So this correction that is this B one previous forecast. From that we are going to plus or minus. This is minus so minus ten. That is nine ninety. This is our new forecast. Like that we are calculate for every. Week. So this nine nine would be the next forecast. So after correction, we are arriving on new forecast. This will be the forecast for the next week. So for that, we are going to calculate the forecast error. Actual demand was thousand ten, but our forecasted after our forecasted is nine ninety. So twenty is our 
forecast error but here it is positive because our demand is actual demand is more than the forecasted so the demand is positive so this positive error has to be multiply with 0.1 that is to be 2 this is 2 this 2 has to adjusted with the previous forecast that is 990 so this is positive so 992 so we have to add because this is positive means we have to add it negative means we have to subtract so we are adding that is our 992 should be our next forecast like that this forecast okay here see actual demand is 1032 but we forecasted only 992 so here the forecast error is 40 so from that 40 we are going to calculate the forecast error 40 into 0 0.1 that is 4 but this is positive so 4 this 4 has to be adjusted with our previous forecast 992 plus 4 996 this is our next fourth week's forecast this forecast now we are comparing with our actual and the forecasted one here there is a uh, difference of 20 but here it is negative because act our forecast was 996 but actual demand turned out to be only 976 so here it is minus 20 pairs of shoes has been lesser from our forecast so minus 20 into 0 0.1 minus 2 this minus 2 has to be adjusted with our previous forecast so 994 994 will be the forecast for the april first week so in april first week forecast is 994 but the actual turned out to be only 934 so 934 minus 994 is minus 60 here it is negative but our actual is very lesser than our forecasted one so minus 60 into 0 0.1 which is equal to minus 6 this minus 6 has to be adjusted with this then it, it has to be 988 this 988 would be the next month or uh, next week the second week of april forecast so the difference between this two that is 20 is the difference that 20 into our forecast coefficient 0 0.1 which is equal to our forecasting error plus 2 here it is positive because our actual is very more than our forecasted so here it is positive error so we are going to correct it with our previous forecast that is 990 so 990 will be our mid week of april's forecast so 990 actual turned out to be 1020 so here it's a difference of 30 so 30 into 0 0.1 that is our coefficient 0 0.1 and uh, here it is 3 this is positive because our actual is more than our forecasted so positive 3 so this 3 will get adjusted with our previous forecast 993 so we have to add it the 3 with this 990 993 993 will be our forecast for the mid week of april end so this will be the end so the expect first entry of third column all other entries are taken from the last column okay this is our actual this is our tabulation see so in that first tabulation uh, what are all the things have been given in the exam is uh, sorry in our question is this actual demand has been given and also previous forecast for the first week is given and also our coefficient is given so we have to frame a tabulation in the tabulation the week wise or month wise what are the things if it is in this uh, question the week wise data is given so week wise data that week wise we have to write it and actual demand what is the actual demand they have given that also we have write so I need to write after that the previous forecast thing has been given in the question that is thousand so these only this these only given in the question so others we have to calculate this the new forecast will be the forecast for the next month and uh, sorry next week and from that we are have to we have to calculate the error the difference between these two is our error if it is positive means if the actual is more than the forecasted means it, it will be positive so the correction will be positive too so uh, with this 
forecast error into coefficient 0.1 this forecast error this forecast error into 0.1 that is our smoothing coefficient 0.1 which is equal to our forecast error this needs to be adjusted with our previous forecast so if it is minus 10 means we have to subtract it if it is positive 2 means we have to add it with our previous forecast like that we have to consist uh, constitute for every week finally we arrive the data okay this is the thing so uh, i need to share one thing the same kind of question the same kind of question has been asked in the our latest june 25 sam exam this is the question this is the question in this question they have asked for quarter wise so eight data they have given okay quarter wise and the actual demand they have given and who smoothing a uh, coefficient they have given and also for the first year how they given for 1000 for the first week like that for the first quarter they have given the data for the first uh, quarter forecast from that we have to calculate for other eight okay other eight quarters like that here also we calculate for the other things like that the same method they have asked in the in this very uh, latest examination so this is very 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 important concept it's easy it's very simple to understand so practice it thank you friends